What is this tiny, very cute creature, you might wonder? This arthropod is called a globular springtail. Springtails are no longer considered insects because they only possess internal mouthparts, unlike insects, which have external mouthparts as well. Springtails are also known as columbolans. The name columbola is derived from Greek, col meaning glue, and embol meaning a wedge, refers to a peck-shaped structure, the colophore, on the underside of the first abdominal segment. The colophore was once thought to function as an adhesive organ, but this tube-like structure most likely helps maintain water balance by absorbing moisture from the environment. Springtails are named for a forked jumping organ, the furcula, which is found on the fourth abdominal segment. It is folded beneath the body and held in place by a special structure called the tenaculum. When the tenaculum is released, it causes the furcula to snap down against the substrate and it flips the springtail into the air. This device is a very effective adaptation for avoiding predation. All of this takes place in as little as 18 milliseconds. And for example, a globular springtail is capable of performing over 370 flips per second when it's flung into the air. The acceleration in some species can also reach up to 100 Gs, which is 10 times the acceleration fighter jet pilots experience during a very tight bend. You should also check out Antlab's Adrian Smith's channel for some fascinating slow motion footage. He had to record the action at 73,000 frames per second to be able to actually see what was happening. I will leave a link to it in the description. Springtails reproduce very quickly, going from egg to adult stage in as little as 4 to 6 weeks. Mature males leave packets of sperm cells in the soil where they live. These protein capsules, that are called spermatophores, are picked up by the females as they lay their eggs, either in packets or singly. Depending on temperature conditions, the eggs usually hatch within 5 to 10 days. What you can see here is an immature columbola, very similar in appearance to adults. They usually molt 4 to 5 times before reaching sexual maturity and continue to molt periodically throughout the rest of their life. The midgut is also regenerated with every molt as an excretory function, enabling the regular removal of mineral buildup and toxins in the body. They only thrive under cool and humid conditions, and their development is much more rapid in the soil in a cool climate. If temperatures rise high enough, they also have the ability to reduce their body size by up to 30% by subsequent molting. In warmer weather, the metabolic rates and energy requirements of an organism are higher, so reducing body size can help them survive. Springtails are one of the most widely spread and most abundant of all macroscopic animals that live virtually everywhere on the planet where soil and related habitats occur. Some select species can even move on water, others are arboreal and live on trees. Some have even adapted to living at high altitudes on the slopes of Mount Everest at 6000 meters or in dark caves. There are more than 6,000 species worldwide and they come in a wide variety of colors, shapes and sizes. Even though some springtails are considered pests and can cause severe damage to agricultural crops such as the lucerne flea in Australia, in general they play a very crucial role in nutrient cycling in the soil. They help to form soil microstructure and also carry mycorrhizal fungi and mycorrhizal helper bacteria and therefore play a positive role in the establishment of plant-fungal symbiosis, which is greatly beneficial for agriculture. They also eat bacteria, lichens, algae and decaying vegetation, fertilizing the soil in the process. Some feed on carrion and a few carnivorous species eat other springtails and small invertebrates. They also contribute to controlling plant pathogenic fungi through their active consumption of mycelia and spores. I'd like to show you several more images I captured in the span of a few days. I spotted all of these specimens in our backyard on decaying leaves. I really love the coloration of this genus and the patterns on its abdomen with those long spiky hairs. In one of the shots you can also view a white, very small springtail which would have been no longer than a third of a millimeter. In the second last shot you can see how tiny it is compared to my fingertips. It was completely dwarfed by them. In the very last photo, if you look closely, you can notice a minuscule water droplet that it was consuming rather slowly. 
anyway this is it for today's video i hope you've learned something new about these fascinating little creatures that play a very significant ecological role on our planet if you like educational nature videos macro videos then definitely check out this playlist i'm sure you will find something that is of interest to you thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel and enjoy this video and see you all very soon in the next one